Hello and welcome to our first Christmas video edition. And I'd like to welcome everybody here as we go ahead and kick off our first podcast. Now, this is going to be the first time it's not been scripted. Grant, would you like to wish a holiday good cheer? Happy holidays, everyone. A uh, few days until Christmas. Um, uh, maybe when you see this, it will be Christmas. And uh, yeah, happy holidays. <laughs> okay, Mac, how about you? Happy holidays, everyone. Yay. I'm so excited because uh, Grant and I just finished our exams. So we're all done with that. And we're so ready for Christmas and all the other holidays. Awesome. Now, the holiday present that we're bringing to them is this video, right? And yeah. we're no longer doing the scripted new format. Are you guys excited about no scripts? Yes. yes. <laughs> you guys yeah, really. yeah. you guys get to a point where you're just so frustrated with dad telling you you didn't say it the right way. And now you can say it whatever way you want. Right? Yeah. Yeah, baby. Can't okay. tell us what to do now. <laughs> well, maybe I can. What? <laughs> so, so what's going on in your lives? Just real quick, like a thirty-second thing. What? What's happening? Um, anything you read on uh, YouTube? Uh, what do you call it? Instagram? Anything? Um, I mean, not much. Just uh, everyone's getting prepared for Christmas, and uh, everyone's happy that exams are over. So that's a really good thing. And yeah. every everyone's on break. So yeah, it's all good. Cool. Mac, nothing? Um, I'm just happy exams are over. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys are in a little bit of a blur with all this stuff happening. Great. Yeah, yeah I'm tired. Well, <laughs> you know how um, we're just moving into this this whole new format. And the thing is, is that Mac and G, so far over this year, I went back and looked. And um, the first thing that I remember very beginning of this year was the stock market crash episode where we went into some detail about what happened. Grant, you remember any other seasons that we did? Um, well, we did talk about the oil and how, like, that affected a lot of things. Yeah, the commodities. Do you remember, like, the seasons, though? Seasons. So we talked about Season. taxes. We talked about taxes for a whole season. McKenna, do you remember any? Uh, we did Corona. Yeah. Crash and, uh, like, the crash of the stock market. And, <laughs> well, and then the ups and downs. Isn't that funny that in January we did the stock market crash and then what happened in, like, uh, March? It crashed even more. Well, wait, remember, <laughs> it went down like a, by a pretty big amount. And that's when we started to talk about Corona and the stock market. And so it wasn't like a yeah. crash crash I, back in 1920s. Go ahead. Yeah, everything started to hit then. Like. Yeah, everything started going crazy, man. Everything, everybody started getting Corona. And so we, we at least got through that. And what other stuff did we cover over this past year? Well, uh, we talked about uh, billionaires and uh, being rich. And being rich, right? And what was your favorite thing, McKenna, that you... Um, who uh, learned this year that you thought learnt. was pretty um, <laughs> um, I, I like the billionaires uh, season that we did because, I don't know, we just got to talk about like Bill Gates and the weird things he had. <laughs> Do you remember anything that was weird that he had? Yeah, he had the book by Leonardo da Vinci that was like, uh, the Codex, million. baby. Yeah. The Codex. Uh, yeah. What about the, I think he, didn't he host like a, a server in his school or something? Well, uh, he didn't host the server, but he wrote the code oh, for, for all the classes. Oh, okay. When the boy and the girl schools came together. Remember that? Oh, yeah. And he had to say, well, if McKenna has English and science, then Grant has biology and whatever. How do we make sure that they get to the right place and we don't put too many people in the class? So that was pretty cool. I learned about it. And remember, who is who is the number one richest person in the world? Uh, Jeff Bezos, right? Remember? Oh, I almost said Bill Gates. Well, Bill Gates was number two, but yeah. do you know what happened recently is with the Tesla stock? Oh, no. What happened? Elon Musk. You're going to oh have to my. look this up, G. <gasps> look it up and see if Elon Musk is now considered the, the richest guy in the world because his stock price has just oh. went crazy. Okay. Oh, my gosh. We should have done an episode on that. $153 billion. Okay. Ooh. And Man. how much was uh, how much was uh, Bezos? Wasn't he a hundred and forty with his wife included? Do you Let's remember? See. Check it out. Uh, it's one hundred eighty-six. One hundred eighty-six. So he's so closing he's in close. on him fast, baby. All right. So, well, that's cool. And um, we learned some good thing, things about the billionaire Kylie Jenner. Uh, Kylie Jenner. That was loud. Yeah. <laughs> Seven hundred million, maybe, is what yeah, she was. They weren't really me. sure, and yeah, she could have been a billionaire. Or self-made billionaire. Yeah, exactly. But what's or the so. or so? That's <laughs> right. And what what was she famous for, as far as uh, oh her uh, makeup, Forbes, or, the makeup products that she yeah. made for yeah. Uh, the, well, not from Forbes. For not for Forbes. Um, oh yeah, no, she was Cody. Yeah, remember Cody bought them. Yeah, she was on Forbes billionaire list, but they weren't sure because she was seven hundred million, and she sold um, 
part of her company or all of her company for you know a lot well, of money to Cody. <laughs> yeah. So, and what's the big news now, guys? What do you what are you hearing in the news? You know, there's something really big that just happened yesterday that we were just talking about. Isn't there a vaccine that's coming out? Well, the vaccine came out a Yay. while ago. And what do you guys think about the vaccine? Well, I'm really happy. I think it's going to be expensive though. Oh, uh, one of our friends' uh, dads, uh, he actually got the COVID vaccine. Yeah, but so, remember, it's, it's two ago. parts. The first part, and then 21 days later, they get the oh, second yeah, part. Yeah. Uh, and, then, and then you're not clear for two more weeks. So essentially, oh yeah, yeah. So, and why did he get it so okay. early? Uh, because uh, there's something like if he got sick, then he had a bigger chance of actually dying. So he needed to get it as soon as he could. Yeah, but um, they have like a hierarchy, though. But his, your friend's dad is a what? Uh, he's a, isn't he a doctor? He is. So the doctors are getting it first because they're going to be talking to people. So they're one high risk because they may get it from other people because they're treating other people. But yeah. in addition to that, though, he, he is at risk for some other stuff. So, so we, are, would you guys want to take the vaccine? Uh, no, because children oh, don't get, to. we're yeah. not even allowed to though, because oh. uh, we're so young. Under there's an age aren't... limit. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, gotcha. Cause I, I think we can get the shot though. Maybe. Maybe. Sure. Mm, no, that's an well, you can look it up too <laughs> while we're on, but how many people, what's the percentage of people that actually are willing to take it? Do you know? Um, no, you can look sure. it up on your iPad. I'm going to take a guess though. Okay. Take a guess. And let's see. I'm going to say 50%. It is okay, about 50, 50. Good, it is. good guess, Mac. Ooh. Grant, you find something? Um, it Do people says, think that? Oh, they're true. testing uh, the vaccine with people uh, ages uh, 12 and o- older. 12 and older. So okay. testing. I guess it's testing. So you guys it. wouldn't uh, fit into that you. then, huh? Totally. How dare you? <laughs> Did you see that look? The look of death from Grant. <laughs> we are 12. Okay, we're so old. All right, but. The thing is, is that about 50% think they're going to take a good I, I think I know why. Is because people are thinking that the government is putting a tracking device in them. I know that's, wow. really, that's really dark, but like... <laughs> <laughs> well, I think I think a lot of people... How fast How fast did the vaccine come together? Do you know? Uh, Not very fast. Well, it seems like it's so took I can, a long Not time. very fast. It was like yeah. just a couple months and it was like good. Well, wait, a couple months? Wait, they weren't working on it at the start of it? Well, they were. We were living a lie. No, we were definitely working on it. But by the time that they found that there was a disease, then started working on it, it's been like less than a year. You know how long it takes a normal vaccine? No. Uh, A really long. There's a vaccine, and and you might want to uh, Google this, but it's it was out there for fifty or sixty years before they got it right. It's like crazy. I know. I, I we researched it. So people are a little bit scared that this vaccine may have side effects. You know what side effects are? Yeah, uh, they're um, basically like uh, symptoms after you get it or like you stuff get that something make you, yeah. weird. Yeah, exactly. And so people are a little bit afraid of that. You ever heard of herd immunity? No, I've not. That means that so many people have to be vaccinated for it not to really spread. And so I think oh, you have to be in the uh, 80, upper 80 percent. Um, so if only 50% of the people Want get the it. vaccine, that might be might be an issue. And why is that important for us at Money with Mac and G? Um, because if more people get corona, then the stock market goes crash. Well, there's a crash. G, were you going to say something? Um, no, I wasn't. But uh... Do people, can people go to their jobs? No. no. No, people are like working from home, right? What happens to the money supply? Are people spending money? We already talked about oil, right? People, nobody was driving anywhere because yeah. they couldn't go anywhere because well, of corona. Well, some, some things people might bu- buy more of and some other Agreed. things they might buy less, like fuel. Toilet you know? paper. <laughs> <laughs> At the beginning, okay. yes. Well, yes. also because uh, some kids, they used to go to school like, and they get food there, but now we have to buy like lunches and things like that. So food, does it financially so. disrupt the economy? Yes. Yes, definitely. Do, do you remember when they shut down everything? Like you couldn't go or do anything yes. for like, what, a month or two? That's, so that so. all affects financial financially, and that's why we talk about it. And the big news, which happened just yesterday, which I don't even know if, why you guys don't remember, but it's called the stimulus package. Stimulus. They've already done one. What is that? What's a stimulus? Well, they want to stimulate or make better the economy. So have people, people lost jobs? 
Yes. Uh, yeah, definitely. Like, okay, airlines. Lot. Are airlines doing really, really well? No. no. Opposite. No. Hotels doing really well? No. Restaurants? No. The, there are actually stuff with restaurants they say you can only have like a quarter of the people you normally have in the restaurant at the same time, and some are just shut down. Well, also, there's Chick-fil-A, because they, they're doing, like, only drive through I think. Yeah, and Chick-fil-A's they're, they're doing good, though. they making a lot of profit. I don't know how or why. Yeah, it's like, a little crazy, because a lot more people know that they get them through quick, and so they want to buy Chick-fil-A. So, so their stim- stimulus is that a lot of people have lost their jobs, yeah, right? Yes. And do you remember how we talked? I don't know which season it was, but we talked about unemployment. <laughs> and yes. What is unemployment? Uh, when you're not employed. <laughs> no, it's uh, when there's that like, is. An, like uh, there's a number under what it's like supposed to be, right? Uh, no, unemployment that means wrong? that you don't have a job. Yeah, unemployment means you're not employed, which means no job. <laughs> oh, I thought it was meant like that, like not enough people are working or something. Like that. No. I don't know. <laughs> no, well, that's why we're here. We're here to to teach people. So, unemployment. What was the peak number of unemployed this year? Do you remember? Uh. Um, well, I'm going to tell you right here, right now, 6.6 oh. 6 million people were Ooh. unemployed. And what happens? Does the government give you a benefit when you're unemployed to help you get through? Probably. Uh, I think so. Well, we've talked about it. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. So the government gives you some money to help you get through. And with Corona, with more people being sick, the first stimulus package gave six hundred extra dollars a week. Oh my! For people, right? Lucky. Lucky. <laughs> well, not well, lucky. Two that's Nintendo Switches every week. Yeah, you can buy a Nintendo. <laughs> well, that be <laughs> that is not how it works, but sure. <laughs> I think people would l- rather pay for their food and have a job than <gasps> a PS you know, Five every week. A PS Five mm. <laughs> every week. Well, it was six point six million was the peak. And they really want to try to help people get through this because are we out of the woods with this vaccine on COVID? Um, no. No. Nope. By the time they get the vaccine to everybody who wants to take it, when do you think it, it will be? I'm hearing different different times. What are you thinking? <gasps> should, we, should we put an estimate in? And like six like, months? Go maybe? back. And like, like for everyone to get it or something? Yeah, it's like it's like summer for of next year. June, everyone to get it. I feel like June, it's going to be. I feel like of next year. Year, I feel like it's going to be in December. December? Oh, you think it's going to be that late? Well, yeah. the estimates we're he- I'm hearing is like summer. By summer, everyone who wants it will have access to it. So Everyone knock on wood. Everyone knock on wood. You like your knock on wood. I, I know that. Knock on wood. So it means to uncurse something that you said to make it not true. <laughs> so this, I, I, yeah. <laughs> this stimulus package is getting money to people who need it. All right? And... How big is it, Mac? You got a piece of paper there with some facts. How big is it? Um, it is. N- oh golly, that's a lot. Um, it's <laughs> nine hundred billion. Nine hundred billion dollars. And three hundred twenty-five billion for business. Help. Right. So the biggest portion is four. So that's about forty percent, right? Mm-hmm. Four times nine is thirty-six, which would be three hundred sixty billion. So most of it is going to be going to small businesses, right? Because what do small businesses do? Do, do they employ people? Uh, not many because they don't not have a ton of... Not as much as like bigger. Yeah. Obviously. I mean... Well, the smaller businesses are, are a little bit more susceptible. And what's that mean? That means that they're, they aren't Too as young. strong <laughs> as the big businesses. So, so they, they're more open to employing people? No. Well, no. They what, what it is is when things go bad, do the big mm-hmm. businesses go... Do big businesses oh, like, so, big businesses so go bankrupt? So the smaller right? ones, like they have like an kind of I I, I want to say like a layer of protection. Like smaller ones don't. No, it's the bigger opposite. ones do. The bigger ones have more money that they can deal with. Oh, so, so, I thought it was the other way around because like no. they would lose so much more money because of all all the stuff that they put in. Them. No, the smaller businesses are the first ones to go bankrupt. So yeah. that's why they're trying to help the small businesses. Right, so that's three hundred twenty-five billion, and so do you guys know that when something gets passed, you know, in Congress, do they try to sneak in other things? Did you know this? No, I've not heard about this. Well, so the stimulus package is supposed to be to help people, but but one of the things that got in there, can you read it? It's one point four billion went for for the border between U.S. and Mexico. Mexico. Yeah, one point four billion. It's time to start learning these things. Whenever they try to get things through. 
The two sides, who are the two sides? Republicans and... Democratic. Democratic they Dem- parties. <laughs> We're a democratic society, but the Democrats and the Republicans, right? And $1.4 yes. went for the, 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 the wall between the U.S. and Mexico. Isn't that wild? The border. The border. The border. So the big question I'm probably asking is the stimulus checks. You ever heard of these? No, I've not. Well, the stimulus. Explain further. The stimulus check means money going directly to people. And how much are we going to get? Can you? 600. Per? Adult and child stimulus per check. So how much, how much would we get since there are four of us? Uh, uh, we would get 1,200. One yeah. That's two, 600, oh, 600, I was going to say 2,400. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> you, guys just, wrong? you guys totally just finished your math. Uh, yeah. Your I'm math. Sorry. You're not right in the head. My brain is relaxing. Give me a break. No, I'm just uh, you're totally giving you a break. So, so, and they're giving, remember, in the first stimulus, they were giving $600 a week. If you're unemployed, how much are they giving this time? Uh, what? Uh, how much? <laughs> a week. Extra. I'm just joking. Extra. I don't know. Um, an Extra. $300 a week through March oh, 14th. March 4, okay. And instead of the high, what was the high number of unemployed? Uh, it was, uh, it was like, what, six, 60 billion? Six, <laughs> 60 billion. <laughs> oh, I mean, 60 million. <laughs> my no, my. 60 million. I mean, six someone's got to make million. a lot of clones of themselves. So we did 6.6 6 million. And right now... <laughs> The number is 885,000. So not quite a million, oh. but the peak was 6.6 6 million. A lot, like a lot better. All right. And here's something crazy. Did you hear yes. that Bill Gates, behind the scenes, which means he didn't get a chance to vote, vote but he talked to people and he was telling them, hey, we really need this. Do you know what, what did, did Bill Ga- Gates do? He got how many million? Off. Uh, you mean four billion? Oh, sorry, four billion. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Jeez, when you're talking millions and billions. What's what's Gavi or G A V I? Well, Gavi is an international vaccine alliance, which means some people came together, and they wanted to vaccine kids. Right? You don't want to leave out kids if you're in a poor Keep country. Keep us safe, please. Exactly. And all the adults, we need your help. We are the future. Right. <laughs> but oh. it, but in these other countries where they don't have the money, Gavi. Uses that money in order to, um, what do you call it, um, vaccinate kids. Uh-huh. And how many kids have they vaccinated for other things over the past 20 years? Um, 822 million children. Yes. 822 million children. That, that's a lot. That's like the population of the U.S. No, remember the population of the U.S. That's, is 300. That's almost 1 billion except 200 million off. That's two times. Wow. My numbers aren't straight today. Right, but that's okay. <laughs> We're here to learn. We're going to get it straight. And um, But what's what's the scare, a little bit of the scary part? What's that last thing on there say? That there's a new... Oh, new COVID strain that's... Se- oh, golly. Uh, seems to be... Strain that seems to uh, be, be more, 40 to 70% more contagious in the UK. That, that's right. They're seeing oh. it in the United Kingdom. You know, like... Long live the queen and the king. I don't know. <laughs> queen Elizabeth. <laughs> Protect her. But this COVID strain they're a little worried about. Some say that it's not such a big deal. Others say it might be a big deal. But it seems to be more contagious. What does more contagious mean? Uh, it means, like, uh, if I were to cough in that direction, it might get to you and you very quickly. Like, it spreads everywhere. If, like, one person gets it, then, like, maybe, like, if you're in a crowd of, like, 100 people, then... You might have to stay 12 feet A ton of people will get it. Yeah. It's easier for somebody else to get it. Yes. All right. So, that <laughs> means more contagious. Even though your long-winded explanation was really good. Yeah. I, yeah. It's super yeah. easy. Mine was better. You can get it easier. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So... That's right. So, when yeah. we think about it, um, we're really um, talking about... This new strain is causing some uncertainty. What what happens to the stock markets when there's uncertainty? They go. The they stock go market up just and down. doesn't like uncertainty. So with a lot of uncertainty, the market gets a little jittery. This is your time to buy, people. Is when it goes down. <laughs> and then McKenna makes a good point. If it's the same company, the possibility of buying it at a discount. I like this. Free idea. money. Think free. of it that way. It might Free be, money. Right? 
Time it right. So, so there's some really interesting things happen out in the financial world, and one of them is a little bit new. And what is that new thing? Starts with a B and rhymes with... Bitcoin. Oh, Bitcoin. Got them. Do you guys know what Bitcoin is? Because we may have to get a specialist expert to come on the show. What's well, Bitcoin? Um, I don't really know much about it, but uh, I know it's a coin and you put like, I think you put on a code to your computer and then it grows money, right? <laughs> like a money tree. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Do we ever have to get you guys um, a little bit more info? Well, it's called a digital currency. So just like we have a currency, which is like a credit card or the actual physical stuff that we feel, Bitcoin is a digital currency. So we're going to have to get into that. But it reached a new high. Do you guys know what the new high is? Um, The new high is oh, $4,700. So apparently... Oh, I mean $24,000. One Bitcoin is worth $23,378. Well, right now, but oh, it yeah. went over twenty four. dollars thousand dollars now here's here's something for you you guys want to hear something totally crazy sure sure i love to may 22nd of 2010 somebody bought two pizzas oh for wow. ten thousand bitcoin oh why that's you very you could, you could have saved so much money if you didn't buy those two pizzas right do you know how much that would be worth today I don't want to know. This is sad. Two hundred and thirty million dollars. Oh, man, gosh. stop buying <laughs> pizzas. pizzas. <laughs> no, get rid That's of that so habit. That's so sad. Like, that is so sad. Hopefully you hate pizza but, now and realize how much money you could have had. But here's the thing. You just gave it to your grandson or something. I don't know. But here's the thing. I don't know. That's so sad. Wait, when no, they bought your it. grandson. Oops, sorry. Your child. When when we bought when they bought it, those ten thousand Bitcoin were worth forty one dollars. Oh my god! Oh, uh, somebody in my grade. Um, apparently his dad he bought like, uh, like a hundred thousand Bitcoins or something like a long time ago. Well, if he did, ten thousand are worth two hundred and thirty million now. And he gave oh. away a bunch of them. Well, if so he gave he, away, he's, he was like only left with like a hundred, or so. So this person spent two hundred and thirty million dollars in no, today's no, no, Bitcoin. No, but they bought it a long time ago. Like that, it was ten years their... ago was a long time ago because that's okay. True. Closer when it started. Yeah. So isn't that crazy? So Bitcoin hit a new high. How much was it again, Mac? Twenty. Twenty-seven thousand. Twenty-four thousand. Or twenty-three thousand, according to Google. Now, yeah, so yeah. it's down to twenty-three thousand. So Bitcoin was uh, <laughs> over twenty-four thousand, um, and so. By hitting that new peak, that's pretty crazy. Now, I know we're already like 20 plus minutes in, and as we continue to go, the stimulus was was a big item that happened. We hit a couple new highs within the market. The Bitcoin went over 24000 and we're going to be doing an investment challenge with the kids, each getting $2,500. We're going to start it out that's in January. That's a lot of money. <laughs> I could just take it all. Don't. And run. No. No, you can't, because my name's on it, so good, good shot. But I could. What should gonna, I tell the FBI? Uh, you're gonna. I'm gonna tell the FBI it's my where, money. You, where you sit. Yeah. yeah. And in the portfolio, we're gonna do how to build it, and we're gonna use stocks, bonds, some funds, mutual funds, and some other stuff. Mutual. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Mutual. So we're getting close to the end of the year. What are the markets doing? And I, I wrote some notes down there. What about the Dow? What, what's where's Dow? Where did the Dow start the year? Ooh. Okay. Um, uh, it started with like what? Uh, twenty thousand eight hundred. So. And then what happens when when COVID came and it took a dive? Where did the Dow go down to? Um, it uh, dropped to eighteen thousand six hundred. Good job. And then right now, Grant, it's around thirty thousand two hundred dollars, peeps. Thirty thousand two hundred. Yeah. So. We're going to get into like how do you calculate some of the Dow and some other stuff, but the Dow is what we call the blue chips. So those are the big companies that have been out there for a long time, Procter & Gamble. The big boys. The big boys. Yeah. What, what about the NASDAQ? You guys like the NASDAQ a lot. NASDAQ. Where did the NASDAQ start? Oh, it started at 9,100. And then it dropped down to 6,900. And now it's 12,700. Wow. Yeah. So the NASDAQ full of tech companies. Can you name a couple tech companies? Tech companies. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Activision Blizzard. Yeah. Apple. Apple. <gasps> I love Apple. Samsung. 
Google. Samsung. I don't know if Samsung's uh, in there, but maybe Google. Oof. <laughs> Microsoft. And can't forget about the Intel, OG Minecraft. Intel, Intel makes a lot of the, the chips and stuff. Intel. Intel. Oh yeah, the Going memory computer. Wait, yeah, is yeah. that those are like memory chips, right? Yep, yep. Sony. Yeah. Sony. <laughs> <laughs> I'd have to look. You're supposed to be googling this when we go. No, that, Amazon. That, that's our TV production, <laughs> and we yeah. That's could that's, Amazon be? Yeah, Amazon is. They are considered Ooh. tech because they have like a lot of different things like AWS, Amazon Web Services, which is considered tech. And so they, they've they really, from 9,000 beginning of the year, over 12,000 now right now. That's a big jump, especially when it went down to 6,000. I can't wait money. for the Bitcoin one. What about the S&P? Now, the S&P 500, right? Dow is the big guys. Mm -hmm. Then we got the NASDAQ, which is tech. Tech and then the S and P five hundred grocery maybe I don't know. Well, the S and P five hundred <laughs> has five hundred um, large companies in there, but it's from all different sectors. Unlike the Nasdaq, which is only Motor. tech, they're like all different <gasps> places. So, so that means it could have like Kentucky Fried Chicken. You could have that. I think that used to be owned by Yum. You, um, yum. Y, y U M. Yo, used to own that. Kentucky Fried Taco Chicken. Bell, yum. Pepsi. I thought Kentucky um, Fried Chicken. Yum. Yeah. I copyright that. No. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so what about, um, Mac, where did S&P start out? Um, S&P started out at 3,200. Then when, what did it go down to, G? I uh, went to 2,200. And then went back up to? 3,700. So that should give you an idea that, man, things go up and down in the stock market. And as we look at it and look at your portfolio, we'll probably see the same thing. Do you need to say something, G? No, I was going to say, but wait. The Bitcoin is where you could have made some serious moolah. And what was it? Well, uh, so it started at 7,200. And then... Where did it go down to, Mac? 4,800. But then, then it came up to it two... Like, oh, no, 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 sorry, not two. $22,700. So from 4,800 to 22,700. If you could have bought a ton of those... You would live like in a, a huge grand mansion. Yes. <laughs> exactly. Th that's that's how it works. Yeah. But that yeah. has yeah. that gives you a little bit of idea of what happened. We talked about the two hundred and thirty million dollar pizza, the market, how it went up and down, but also the stimulus package, which we're gonna hear a lot more over the coming days. So when we um, go through this, we'll, we're going to continue to get better and better. You guys will bring your iPads and your computers. We'll look up some stuff, get serious on it. And if there's any parting device for the or advice for this um, last week of Christmas, what would you guys say? Stay safe, guys. You got it. You're so close to Christmas. I Celebrate know, it. Have got fun. It, also, Hanukkah and Kwanzaa. Wait, uh, I think there's... Wait, what was it called? Chinooka? Nah, Hanukkah is fine. Okay. So, so in the, the day, happy holidays to everybody. Thanks for being here. We're so appreciative. Um, glad you're staying with us as we continue to move forward. And we're going to see you next week prior to New Year's as we take a quick look back. New Year's. Hey. Oh Thanks, gosh. everybody. Bye. bye. Okay, bye. Goodbye. Happy holidays.